Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, this is Blitz City DIY, and this is a GoPro. And this, too, is a GoPro. And this is a Raspberry Pi. I had a project in mind, now that I've kind of been adding the GoPro more into my production workflow, where what you've been able to do previously with a GoPro quite easily uh, is to, using the Wi-Fi on board, basically stream out a feed from the GoPro to any uh, internet-enabled device. Not unlike how you use the app on your phone or other device. Uh, and you can use you can do that with VLC, uh, which is a that kind of open source media player. So my idea for the project, uh, since I don't particularly in, like having to have my phone on me at all times, I know that makes me kind of a disgrace to my millennial generation. Uh, but I I don't, and also ch checking the viewfinder on the GoPro can kind of depending on how it's mounted and such can possibly upset your shot or especially when you're doing a time lapse you might have to cause a shadow to then go across your workspace um i thought using vlc i could take a raspberry pi and basically write a, a bash script that would make it so that on boot it would connect to your gopro and you could get a feed on vlc on like a little screen and it could be like this portable gopro monitor fun idea. I was excited about it. I thought it'd be pretty simple too, because with this GoPro, the Hero 3 Plus, an older one, but still, you know, it, it works. Um, I had actually used this uh, to uh, broadcast a VLC uh, for a, a professional scenario uh, where uh, someone was using it to show something on a larger screen for a presentation, and it worked great. It was like flawless. So I assumed it would be okay with my newer GoPro Hero 6 Plus that I use primarily now. Uh, it would it'd be fine. It was not. Essentially what has happened is as GoPro has matured, they've really locked down the Wi-Fi capabilities on their cameras. Uh, it started with the GoPro Hero 4. They started locking it down a bit uh, where it was a little trickier to connect because basically what happens is when you enable Wi-Fi on your GoPro it kind of creates this um, subnet or network within a network not unlike what happens with your Apple TV or other kind of devices like that on your home network where other devices can connect to their little network that they've created um, and you can control it like that you know uh, so basically what happens when you're streaming uh, from your GoPro to another computer or device, um, you are connecting uh, to the network that this camera has created, and that's how you're able to uh, receive the stream. So the process used to be that you would connect to the camera's network, and then you would get the um, HTTP stream feed address, uh, and then you would just enter that into the stream field on VLC, and all was well everything was copacetic, it would just stream. What happens with the, the newer cameras is you first of all can't just turn on Wi-Fi. In order for it to actually broadcast out the Wi-Fi signal initially, you have to connect it to the GoPro app. Once you connect it to the GoPro app, then the network is open because your phone has to be able to find it or other device, and then other devices can connect to it to its network. However, uh, once you connect, it's not as simple anymore to get a feed. In fact, I have not been able to get a feed out of this camera. And based on what I could find online, others haven't really been able to either. It seems that the last time anyone was really trying was the Hero Pro 4. But one thing I did find is someone has, t has created a piece of software that basically seems to almost emulate the GoPro app and it's actually available for Raspberry Pi and this piece of software is called Camera Suite and actually even if you look up guides like how to stream your GoPro to your computer this is what it su suggests and it looks very it looks great Camera Suite allows you to control action cameras such as GoPro Hero 2, 3, 3, Plus 
four, five, six, seven, eight models with ease over Wi-Fi, supports full control of the camera, live preview, media browsing, script, and server-based remote control, and much more. And there's a little download button. Okay, I go to the download. Okay, oh, it's you have to pay for it. Uh, and I, and there is a Raspberry Pi version. That's what kills me. There's a Raspberry Pi version, and you have to pay for it. Only five dollars, but still, I uh, personally don't like to use software like this behind a paywall. It just ruffles my feathers in the wrong way. Uh, so I, although very tempting, I will not be utilizing this. But it's funny. That's that's what people suggest. And I mean, maybe if you're that, if you really, really need to stream your GoPro to your thing, maybe that's like a, a good solution. It does seem to work. The principal thing is that GoPro has locked down the Wi-Fi. Because let's demo right now. Let's turn on our GoPro here. Hello, GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And let's turn on Wi-Fi. And let's connect to it. And there we go. If we look here, I'm connected to GoPro Hero 3. Cool. That was simple. So now if I go to send video, VLC, this is a Raspberry Pi 3A uh, Plus, which um, I've been spoiled by the Raspberry Pi 4 because, oh my gosh, it's so much slower. Uh, So now I can pull down the HTTP feed. I press play. It's making a liar out of me. There we go. So you see the stream comes up. Now it's a little glitchy. It's pausing, which is not great. But without doing any troubleshooting, I just, I got a feed up. So the next steps would be to kind of, you know, uh, troubleshoot, fine tune it. But just the fact that I can get a feed out fairly simply is pretty great. You just go to the GoPro's network, you get the amba.m3u8 link, and you just throw it into VLC, and feed comes up. Now, again, I'm using an older Raspberry Pi. It feels weird to call the 3A plus at this point older, but it is. Uh, so I'm curious to see how it would run on a 4, or just any fine-tuning at all, maybe trying FFmpeg instead of VLC. Either way, like the project would have had legs to run on if the same result happened with the Pro 4, because let me show you what happens with the Pro 4. So I can connect to the Pro 4 just like the Pro 3. Um, I go in, and just like that we are connected now. I go to, it says error 404, not found. Error 404, not found. And there is a kind of workaround. Uh, There's a GitHub repo that I'll link down below that is basically like working around the GoPro stuff uh, with Wi-Fi. So it's, it's a known thing. Basically, what you do is you use these settings here. It says status zero. If I go to VLC and following the instructions, you do a UDP stream, which is kind of a legacy thing. So that's the other thing. You're not able to do a full on HTTP stream, at least from what I've been able to find. So if we open up VLC, now connected to the GoPro Hero 6, we go to media, go open network stream, we do UDP, we do play, and this is as far as I've been able to get. I just get this bouncing kind of progress bar. I have never been able to get a feed out. I do stop, I, there are other things I've seen on things possibly working. Um, for example, this uh, UDP 8554, I do that. It just bounces. Uh, if I go and do an HTTP, Play. These are all things I found. I just, I get nothing. I get absolutely nothing. Extend. I get an error. Unable to open it. Check the log. 
I clear, I close. So basically, I, I have not been able to get a feed out of this at all. Uh, and it's, it's disappointing because, as you saw, with the older one, we were able to do it. Now, I mean, I get why they would probably lock it down. I mean, this is probably a security vulnerability that you can connect to it so easily and get a stream. So I, I get it. But also, I, I guess I hate when there's updates to hardware and you lose functionality. That's, that's my whole thing. Um, and I know in kind of uh, the DIY um, video production world, even people that make like YouTube videos that are a little bit more mainstream vloggery, uh, GoPros are a big deal and like doing kind of interesting things with them to get certain shots that otherwise wouldn't have been possible or be able to monitor them in certain ways or control them in certain ways. It's kind of a, it was a big thing. And I think that's why the GoPro took off so much. Uh, and now it's, it's kind of locked down. I just, I don't like to see stuff locked down in such a way. I just wanted to share, um, mainly to see if anyone had any suggestions. Perhaps I'm missing something. But it does seem to be locked down for the newer ones, which is unfortunate. So yeah. Uh, I guess this would qualify as a DIY FYI GoPros and Wi-Fi, which has kind of an icky rhyme to it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just wanted to share. Um, this happens to me a lot. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount, where I'll have a project idea, I'll research. It's made, It's usually Raspberry Pi and Linux stuff. I'll be like, oh, could you do that? N you can't. <laughs> or it'll be like, well, you could with this older version, but now they've locked it down. It's usually, oh, well, stuff is locked down now, so you can't. It's something I run into quite a bit. Uh, so I, I guess I just wanted to share that uh, you can add GoPro Wi-Fi to another thing that's been locked down. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll put down in the description the stuff that I've found online. Uh, let me know in the comments if you found anything different or know of a different workaround. We can chat, we can coordinate, um, but I'm, I'm going with it's locked down. That's my final diagnosis as of right now. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.